Hello everyone, welcome back to America Truck Simulator. So today guys, it's going to be kind of a mixture between a uh, real company run and a uh, half company run, I guess you could say. Um, so today we're going to be running a uh, modded truck, the Freightliner of Century, uh, using the Martin Texture. I tried to find a Martin Trailer uh, Texture, but I could not find one. So I know that Martin hauls for Walmart. So I decided to um, do it this way because I have actually seen them hauling Walmart trailers. So I know they haul. Now the only thing that's not the way Martin does their trucks uh, on this truck is the all the pictures that I found was Martin does not use driver's side mirrors on their truck. On the hood mirrors. I, I don't know why they don't have them on the hood on their trucks, but they don't. And I don't think they have... A, wheel covers on the back of the wheels uh, I did add those uh, I wasn't not thinking about that I should not add those I uh, forgot about that but yeah we're gonna get out here and check out this truck now this modded truck ha this truck has been updated this century can also be a Columbus it, ha it has both uh, versions of the truck you can get both it has been updated with 1.4.5 it is on the um, ATS mod sites uh, we're running a, a Detroit diesel in the truck today. Uh, no GPS in the truck. Here's the interior. If everyone has not seen it. Uh, really good looking truck. I did turn it down so it wouldn't be too loud on the run. And the closest run I could find today, guys, was 393 miles. So, for a Walmart run. So, and we're going... We're going to Truckee. We're going to Walmart and Truckee. Yeah. And we're hauling batteries. So let's get it. Let's get on the road. I want to say thank you to everyone that came out and enjoyed the stream last night. Uh, awesome stream. Really enjoyed it. Enjoyed everyone coming out and watching us. We'll be streaming again tonight on ATS. Turn left. I gotta say, this truck has improved. I um, used this truck, uh, I think when it first was uh, released, like the first version of it in now, Alan's gonna let us out. Uh, it's really improved. The modder has really made a lot of adjustments right. to it and improved the truck. So, there's a Martin trailer. We need that trailer. one ain't in a cargo pack but I you, you take you ever to find it so but yeah uh, the, the truck is really improved 100% uh, improvement of the mod So yeah, guys, I, I do appreciate everyone that did come out and uh, join the stream last night. And I appreciate everyone, everyone that has been subscribing to the channel. It means so much for everyone that's been subscribing. Uh, it helps the channel grow. Yeah, and that's what we're here to do is uh, 
sit back, relax, enjoy some great content, and then and grow the channel. Go straight on. That's right. So, uh, yeah. We'll get a thumbnail of the truck here in a little while. We got a little ways to go, so we're not in no hurry. We're going to try to take a... Tonight, we're going to do another live stream. We're going to try to see if we can get a run up to Cover so we can take a look at Cover, which is a little small town that was added in 1.4.5 update to a Mac Truck Simulator. Just kind of being quiet. Look, the windows working his truck. Let's see. They do work. Can't see them though. Hmm. That's weird. It still has improved over the, with the time that it, it's been I You can't see the window for some reason. I tell you, last night, I was streaming last night, it rained the whole stream. Did not get no sunshine at all. But yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I really do appreciate everyone that's been coming out, that's been supporting the channel, everyone that has subscribed to the channel. You, you know, it it really means a lot to, to all of us, you know, especially to me that has, um, been uh, working on this for a very long time. It doesn't get night to come out and watch our stream.
Trump saying it's getting like a rattling noise in, doesn't it? straight on. That's right. Can't just kind of be quiet enjoying the drive. I really wish we could have got a Martin throw though, it really would look a lot better. We will be doing another real company run. I'm going to have to decide the company, I haven't decided that yet. And once the uh, coast to coast map and uh, Canada map is updated, it has not been updated yet for 1.4.5. Once it's updated, we will do some streaming for going up to Canada and some other states. Yeah, the SCS hasn't done yet, you know. Also, guys, I want to get in and do some more Beam at G Drive. Um, do some of the scenarios, but it's giving some kind of a message on Beam at G. I'm going to have to look into it so maybe because every time you go to do something, it pops up. Go straight on. And it's, uh, it's right. aggravating. So I might look into it so I figure out what's going on with Beam at G. Go ahead and get our thumbnail. Yeah, that's about what I see, except for I don't see these trucks, but I do see Martin hauling Walmart trailers like this every day, just about. Uh, I don't know, you know what happened with that. You know, Swift had a contract with them for many years, for a long time.
Alright, get over. I'd say, uh, I'm still impressed with this mod. On the improvements that this mod has made. I've been playing this game since it first came out. Keep and left. And then turn left. This truck has been around for a pretty good while. And I'm, I'm impressed with the improvements. That hasn't been updated yet for Turn the right. um the real company mod has been updated yet for straight on that's right also guys uh, we're gonna have another mod review coming uh, after this one And uh, I've had questions by intro and outro for my channel. All that is coming. I gotta have it made, uh, custom make it. Um, and, and right now, I have not had it made yet, but um, it is in the works to have the, have one uh, added to the channel. Uh, Vipers 389 right now is not working um, in the beta for 1.4.5 beta it is not working right now
and then turn right. Turn right. It, um, also, if I didn't mention, I may have got about the truck is running a Detroit diesel, 600 horsepower, with an 18-speed eight and full of transmission. They just, they just messed us up right there. We had to slow down for them. And we lost our speed. We're about 52 miles out. Beautiful out here. Look at that. So guys, I, I always show uh, the feet. Uh, the, I can't talk this morning. I'm sorry. I always show the customization options for any modded truck that I use. So I will show the customization options for this truck. I uh, also remember that this truck comes with two versions. It is a you can get it in a Columbus or the Century, like this one here.
keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Keep left and then exit left. Exit left. Trucky. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Go straight on. That's right. Right here. Turn left. You have arrived to your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. All right. Well, they want it. Oh, they went back in that corner. See exactly what they want. Oh, okay. I couldn't see from inside. Yeah, I see it now. Okay. You actually can't see the lines from inside the truck. Pull up some more. Let me get it started here. Trying to make sure we're going the right areas. For some reason I cannot see those lines from inside the truck.
maybe the way the uh, the dock is you know, it's kind of down down a hill it's slanted a little bit more Where why I can't see it That ain't no good. Go ahead and pull up like this now. See if we can kind of straighten it up. It's gonna be a rough one to get it in. So that's why I can't see it. The lines are like uh, because of the way the dock is. I don't like that though. I guess the trailer is pretty straight. The truck is a little crooked, but I guess the trailer is okay. Yeah, the trailer looks okay. All right, guys, we drove 395 miles. We had an excellent. Took us 8 hours, 29 minutes to get here. We consumed 53.9 gallons of fuel. So we're, I'm going to show you the uh, customization options for this truck. If anybody may want to use it. Right, let's see. Freightliner. Alright, so it has two. Uh, it has the Columbus. This is the Columbus. And it has the Sentry. You can change it. Whatever one you want to use has one chassis. It has um, multiple engines from IXX uh, M370, 370 horsepower. Uh, has Cummins, more Cummins, uh, more of the ISX Cummins, Detroit Diesels. All the way up to a 600 horsepower Detroit diesel for your engines. Transmissions are 10 speed, 13 speed, 10 speed, 18 speed, 13 speed, then a 13, and then an 18 speed with the Eaton Fuller with a retarder. It has two types of um, interior. I don't see much difference in them myself. Uh, that says the that's the modern interior. It just changes the color. Pretty much all it does for the interior. Paint jobs is pretty standard. Here's one I had from Martin. Um, pretty standard paint jobs for the truck.
all right here for your options here you have um your oversized low banner you have uh, multiple bumpers front bumpers you have a painted chrome bumper you have just a painted bumper you have a gray chrome bumper a gray bumper black chrome and black and that is your badging on the front of the truck if you want to put that on there you can customize your grill you have your hood ornament uh your your mirrors you have two different types that's the red looking i don't know why that's red but okay that one is not even showing up so that that is a mod issue so we want to look at that that was fine so that is the issue with the, uh, with the truck the mirror is not showing up on the passenger side on the hood you have your warning flags you have multiple different types of uh, mirrors here uh, country basic country chrome country painted chrome country plastic the Columbus basic and the Columbus chrome okay up here you have the same thing you can change the to the country basic country standard classic you can add lights here don't have any installed so you know that doesn't work uh, you can add lights there that's your standard here's for your sleeper make it a stand-up sleeper if you, you want beacons you put beacons up there another stand-up sleeper option you can add the wing to the truck as your mirrors interior color black really looks good with the yellow as far as interior uh, you have steps back here in the back like this you want to add a step to the truck uh, as far as um don't think yeah i don't think there's anything down here okay you can't make that longer okay i don't think that was the option on the columbus i mean on the center or not um okay let's see as far as your rims uh, like i said i have shorty's icoa pack and i also have a viper's icoa pack so you won't have some of these options unless you have those rims in but, I mean you have you can change your it has multiple rim options tire options you have the standard tire options for the truck mud flaps you have two different types three and pretty much the options are the same on both trucks All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for the night video. Let's get in here and do a like a real company run and a um, well, actually, like and, and a mod review at the same time. I can't talk today. It's early in the morning. That truck doesn't trailer doesn't look too bad sitting where it's sitting. So yeah. Um. So thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who's been subscribed to the channel. Like I said, it it really means a lot. You know, to help the channel grow. If you're new to the channel and you do like what you see here, make sure you do subscribe. It uh, helps us, helps me out a lot. Helps me out also let me know what you, what you guys want to see, you know, on the channel. So, it really uh, helps us. So, thank you for everyone. And, um, have a good afternoon.